hey everyone welcome to this video i am going to show you how to deploy the medusa open source handless e-commerce backend on aws using fargate uh, managed the infrastructure with the terraforms and a set up a complete ca cd pipeline using github actions we will see connect postgrel via amazon rds aurora uh, and push on docker image to docker hub let's start it uh, this is my Terraform. Uh, here ECS Elastic Com Container Service. Uh, here first we go to Amazon account uh, to create users. Like uh, we give the permissions to user. This is again showing. Uh, this is my I am user after we creating the i am user we go to terminal and aws mm, sorry it's a configure Uh, this is our AWS access key ID which are we created in AWS IAM uh, after we entering this is the our secret access key uh, this is the default uh, region US East one uh, after go to this uh, we successfully connected with AWS after this uh, uh, this already this infrastructure already is set up in AWS uh, Uh, this is Amazon uh, Elastic Container Services uh, through I am creating this infrastructure by the Terraforms. Uh, here it is. Uh, we are going to our project. This is Mesuda Medusa uh, JavaScript. This is a open source platform for e commerce. And we go to the documentation here. Make use of backend, uh, backend documentation. It's okay. Uh, here it is. Uh, we simply copy this command to paste our terminal. It's creating that uh, whole infrastructure of Medusa JavaScript in our local mission. Uh, after this creation, uh, we set up the Docker file and we set up the Docker file, uh, com Docker compose file. Mm, we go to the GitHub. Here it is. Uh, in this, uh, we just uh, 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 wait just a second. Here, go to GitHub Actions. Uh, we need to give the uh, you. We need to place our uh, secrets variables in the repo here my secret credentials for this application uh, after we go to the code go to github workflows here it is uh, here it is how to uh, deploy in AWS. This is the CI CD. Uh, it's in ML format. Here it is a few steps. Uh, first, go to the repository. Uh, after that, we set up the Docker. Uh, after logging to Docker uh, through these credentials, uh, which are is located in uh, uh, Git, uh, GitHub Actions next we build this image and we push this image into docker hub 
after uh, pushing uh, through the lo uh, this a aws credentials to log into a aws account after after its uh, pull from docker hub and to build the image and update the task definition uh, and its uh, deploy in ecs elastic uh, container services uh, and one thing i am um, configure the postgres database for this here it is this is our endpoint i am just uh, replace with my endpoint in dot envs but uh, i don't want to show because it's uh, confidential that's why i'm not able to show uh, next to go to our github actions we just uh, change the commit just we change the commits it's a trigger and build automatically we go to the actions here it is here it is okay it's now building the it's now build the docker image through uh, this uh, javascript files it's take some time after extracting the layer it's push into docker hub uh, here the workflow it's take it will take some time because uh, the layer uh, on just a second okay Yeah. Next, it's uh, login with uh, AWS credentials after to create and update these services. Uh, next, uh, wait for ECS service to stabilize because it's uh, uh, task me task definition. Go to the cluster uh, here. Cluster. Go to service. Go for task definitions. Uh, creating the task eight. Okay, it's uh, take the image from Docker Hub. And also I am creating the uh, it's take few seconds oh, no no it's take a uh, few minutes okay uh, we go to Terraform so this is our net this is my network uh, which, are, which are I built in AWS and this is my VPCs here it is I am creating VPC and I am enable the public IP uh, for accessing this uh, web application
Okay, let's take a few more minutes. Yeah, it's uh, deployed in ECS in AWS successfully. Now we go to our task definitions. We check our public IP to explore our website. Just a again, I refreshing this page. go to cluster go to tasks this is our public IP uh, to explore this website okay. network binding through the this network binding uh, here it is our application successfully deployed uh, app slash approach it's a redirect to admin login page okay just a second it's loading Go for VPCs. Uh, we go to security groups and we already configure with uh, Medusa SG. Okay, we go to this and we enable that port. Already enable. Okay, just a second. I show. Uh, we already enable that port. And uh, this is for uh, HTTPS. This is for HTTP. And this is for my Flask application, uh, which is already I deployed in AWS. Uh, okay, we go to this application. We log simply log ad admin admin dot com uh, password is here here it is we successfully deployed our application in AWS uh, this is our application which are we able to deploy in AWS. Okay, here we create something. Actually, I show where the database has been located. This is our, this is my database which are created and connected to my application. And yeah, this is the endpoint to my application. And uh, I show you. Uh, Wait just a second. I refresh this. It push. Uh, it's push into a Docker Hub.
yeah it's showing 7 minutes ago and uh, 